what is up youtube welcome back to the channel as promised we are going to be doing a full deep dive into everything you need to know about the new gear dungeon that's coming to the game now this is before the actual dungeon is in the game so there's not going to be any gameplay in this video we're just going to be discussing what these this event looks like um, as well as ways to potentially prepare for the event because it is coming very very soon let's dive right in And welcome back. As I said, guys, this video is going to be coming out probably actually after the Gear Dungeon has come, but I'm recording it prior to it coming out. I believe it comes out in literally an hour. Um, and there might be some buggies, so don't be super surprised if there's some stuff going on and some stuff happening but we do have the new challenge the gear dungeon is coming in this is a brand new gear raid that starts 327 if you look in the bottom right corner oh right corner of the screen you will see that it is 326 we're moving our way into 327 so it'll be here very very shortly um there are a couple things that are important one this event is only one week now it does come back and it will come back every now and then uh, but it does only last for one week so you want to make sure you're coming in here and you're using uh, all of your access uh keys in order to get into this event so you can get the most out of it Second thing that's important is it does require you to have all three of the gear raids cleared on at least stage 18. That's very important. If you only have one and two on 18 and three is on 17, you will not be able to access this event. So it's very important if you haven't done so already, try really hard to push for gear stage 18 as soon as possible so that you can access the gear dungeon. So Let's just quickly read through what they have to say. So Gear Dungeon is a high difficulty challenge mode only available periodically. Each round lasts for one week and commanders can locate the Gear Dungeon either through the raids menu or through the events page. Enter at your own risk. Gear Dungeon has six stages in total. Each time the Gear Dungeon is available, a larger number of dungeon keys will be provided. By consuming stamina and dungeon keys, you will be allowed to enter the dungeon for a chance to earn forge materials to be used towards powerful gear sets as well as variant gear. So here we go. You can see it down here. It looks like it's maybe a Volca boss um, that you have to fight. We'll have to see. Uh, but you can see this is where the new gear sets, which we talked about in a previous video, are accessible. Um, and you can get those forge materials, which is exciting. So there's big rewards. Not only are heaps of advanced gear sets and ascension materials up for grabs, but you can also earn exclusive gear dungeon rewards, such as unidentified gear, gear forge materials, and dungeon crystals. So unidentified gear is gear that you have to go to the foundry to identify and transform into variant gear with special effects. You can also get Sanguine Fabric and Smoldering Scale. Here, you can head to the Foundry to turn these into one of six gear sets, such as Morale's Light and Light's Grace. So this is the six gear sets you see here. Uh, things that, you know, the, the set that gave you crit damage and attack, the set that gives you healing uh, effect and rage regen, etc. Then we have the Dungeon Crystal. Here, you can use these Dungeon Crystals in the Redeem Shop to open a trade for these valuable items for things like gear recasting hammers etc right so you trade in dungeon crystal it's a currency you trade this in and you can get things like gear recasting hammers etc i would assume this is going to be similar to that of like the immortal codex shop right you'll be able to purchase stuff similar to that but we'll have to see for sure maybe they'll go into it here i'm not positive so variant gear so variant gear is regular gear sets with an additional power so here you can see we have a variant mythic gear for the Immortal Warrior weapon. Um, and it has the regular Immortal Warrior set bonus, but then it also have this. This gear will have at least one random secondary attribute set to its maximum value. This is really cool because it basically guarantees one of these stats is going to be perfect. That's really, really exciting. And then we have the variant war mythic gear for the warlord set. This is the regular warlord thing, but it also has bloodthirst, which is a 20% or sorry, a plus 20 additional attack speed. Uh, now I'm assuming that these are not set in stone. I'm assuming that you could get any of these passives on any variant piece, which is what's going to be the RNG, right? You're going to have RNG on top of RNG. You want to get the right set, the right substats, and the right uh, variant uh, passive, right? Uh, which is a little annoying because we're just adding more RNG on top of RNG. Um, but ultimately, it is another power scaling thing, which is kind of cool at the same time. So we'll have to see how it works out, what those numbers look like.
But then we have new gear sets, so when available, commanders may enter the gear dungeon to loot forge materials, which can be used in the foundry to obtain brand new gear mythic brand new gear mythic gear sets that's weird such as morale lights grace and others so that's the stuff we already talked about right wicked vengeance lights grace then we have morale unshaken will hell's lament and tempered will i'm not going to go over that you could check out the last video if you want to talk about those specifically um and then we have the redeem shop so enter the gear dungeon to find loads of dungeon crystals that can be exchanged for valuable items uh yeah so i'm not seeing anything it doesn't give specifics, but I do see. So these are the gear recasting hammers, which allows you to re-roll gear. This is one of the forge materials. You can trade dungeon crystals in for more forge materials. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Um, a box that maybe gives gear, potentially. Something like that. Um, and then we have, looks like, right side gear and left side gear. That could be random. It's a random set uh, maybe this is variant gear. Uh, it could be variant gear. I think variant gear, that was the icon they showed. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be, it could be just, you could buy unidentified gear that turns into variant gear. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we have new enemies. So here we go. Once a confidant to the blood mother herself, it is said her betrayal was so treacherous that her blood was defiled and she degenerated into a puppet. In combat, the insatiable blood mistress will grant all minions a lifesteal. Heroes who deal magic damage or have anti-healing are recommended. This is why they nerfed Boreas. Yeah, this is it. They didn't want him to be a god in every gear dungeon. <laughs> Do you, do you guys think that's why? Do you think this is why they nerfed Boreas? Because they were releasing this right afterwards? <laughs> maybe. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Maybe I'm putting on my little tin foil headset. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were adding another healing mechanic to a gear dungeon. And they didn't want Boreas to just completely make it useless. Um, well, either way, this looks like it's going to just be another gear raid 1 situation, effectively. Um, I haven't seen the fight. I know Fastidious did a, a ton of videos on it. I personally haven't watched those because I, I like to go into things unspoiled, right? Uh, so because of that, I haven't looked into this too much. Um, but this looks exciting. I mean, this looks like it's going to be, you know, similar to something we've already had. But of course, the map is probably going to look different. The ads are going to obviously look different, um, you know, and I'm assuming the difficulty is going to be much higher. Um, but at the same time, this feels like it's probably just stage 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27 of Gear Raid 1, probably. Um, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see, but it does look like you're going to want some big magic damage dealers. Um, so if we go look, uh, you know, people like Vierna are going to do really well. Boreas may still be viable. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Awkward. Uh, Boreas may still be viable, um, mainly just because he has the anti-healing, right? Um, so potentially he's still viable there. We also have a potential viability for people such as Cerberus, right? He does AoE magic damage. Um, and let's see who else we got here. Lassier is going to do really well here potentially because he also has, or is it anti-healing, right? 15 second anti-healing. Um, and who else we got? We have Zealous if you have his artifact, right? Because this reduces healing while his uh, ultimate is active. Uh, people like Ajax, who just do a ton of uh, magic damage, could be really well. To, could be really good as well. Um, so basically, you're just looking for magic damage healers and some anti healing. Um, so whatever anti healing champion you have, whether it's Boreas, whether it's um, Zealous, right, whether it's uh, Lassier, whatever anti healing champion you have is going to do really well here. Um, and also whatever magic damage healers you have is probably going to do really well here. We'll definitely have a video specifically talking about uh, the way that I'm going to be beating these stages. I'll probably have some gameplay on the different stages, give you some ideas, tips, tricks, etc. on how to beat the stages so you can get the most out of this event. So definitely look forward to that. Um, but yeah, I think that kind of covers it. I just wanted to do a quick sort of overview of what the new gear dungeon is going to look like. Um, and hopefully you guys can be prepared. We do have a uh, Corridor of Glory coming up. So you'll be able to level up, star up, and promote heroes. And we do have this really awesome uh, banners coming up, right? So, you know, there's a good chance that you're going to be summoning this weekend. And maybe you're going to be summoning and, you know, you're maybe you don't get 
lucky and get one of these, but maybe you get someone like a comment or whatever, um, you know, and you'll be able to potentially build those up for the gear dungeon. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know that you liked the video. And don't forget to leave a comment down below with what gear set are you the most excited about from the new sets? I think I'm really excited about the crit damage and attack set. It seems really interesting. And the damage reduction with stacking defense also sounds really interesting too. So definitely excited to check this new gear dungeon out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're making a huge push for 5k subscribers. Every subscriber counts. Tell everyone you know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.